<laughs> Four, five, six. It's Nicola <laughs> and her tricks. Okay, Nicola. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, kia ora everyone. My name is Nicola and my brand is called Nicola and I make contemporary Māori accessories and uh, clothing. And I, my customer base is currently here in Aotearoa, but I am looking to expand off these shores and overtake the world. Woo, I love that. <laughs> watch out, China. Watch out, Aussie. <laughs> yeah, we're coming. Nice work. Nice work. Hey, uh, we're going to talk about um, some tactics that Nicola has learned and she has um, added into her business and share some insights from her. She's got some great gems here. Um, Nicola, tell us what life was like before you implemented this one tactic. Um, what life was like before we yeah, in the business. This, this tactic was that uh, we were kind of assuming what our customer wanted. Uh, we were making assumptions based on, I suppose, just feelings that I felt <laughs> that my customer would like. And yeah, it wasn't until I actually implemented this tactic that I actually learned um, that I'm not always right and I don't always have the answers that my customers are wanting. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and so then you implemented the tactic. What's the tactic that you implemented and how did you how did you implement it? If you tell the audience. Uh, yeah, the tactic that I implemented was to get a better understanding of my customer avatar, whose name is Mary Pye. What's a customer uh, avatar? I'll just jump in. Like Some people might not know what, what a customer avatar is. Oh, right. Okay. Customer avatar is pretty much your customer. They call it um, target customer, target market. They call it a whole lot of different names. But customer avatar, I think, really pinpoints it down to one person that uh, you kind of have a laser focus on. It's not so widespread, but this one person is quite similar and there's a whole lot of traits and there's often a group of them. So yeah, that's how I define my customer avatar. Awesome. And so what did you do to implement it? Because you had some great results off the back of doing this. Yeah. <laughs> um, what I did is, it was actually a suggestion that you made is that to get to, to understand your customer avatar, we should be going on platforms that they're involved in, groups that they're part of, and just to try, try and get to understand them a bit more beyond like the demographics and things that you can get from your analytics, especially on um, your social media platforms. So what I did is I identified the customers that um, I could reach out to through specifically through Facebook, and I created a Facebook group because I wanted to have a conversation, a one-on-one, -on -one, or actually it was a little bit of a group conversation with uh, these customer avatars of mine, just to do a bit, I suppose, of market research around um, a collection that I'm bringing out. And yeah, it was really, really good because like I said before, I had assumed that these products, these designs are what my customer would like. But actually after having the conversation with my customer, um, focus group of, of the customer avatar Medipaya, I found that, yeah, what I thought um, they would like, they didn't actually like. And the ones I thought they didn't like, they did like. So yeah, it was really, really, really good to see um, what they wanted, what they liked, what their needs were, and for me to be able to readjust, reflect, and bring out something that better aligned to them. Awesome. Awesome. Well done, you. And what was the result of doing it? Uh, I think the result of doing that is that I've built a better relationship with them. They also feel a whole lot more involved in the process. Uh, I've actually had feedback from some of them saying that they're very excited. Uh, and I've said that, you know, I'm going to reference them in the making of this, this collection and this product. So, yeah, um, I think it's just building my relationship with that, with my customer avatar and getting to really understand them beyond just the demographics and geographical information. Nice. Well done you. Thank you.